reuse it. This is my oil lamp that I've been testing, doing all my testing on. So let's get into it. This lamp already has some oil in it. So what I will do is go ahead and strew this off. I will get my trusted oil, lamp oil. I'm going with the medallion this time. It's called clear lamp oil. And I'll go ahead and pour it in. Once it starts getting like a different smell or Your wick just isn't burning. That's when it needs to be clean. So I already put the oil in using this right here. This knob, I screwed it off and I screwed it back on tightly. Usually you want your wick, which is this thing right here. You actually turn this so as you can see, I'm twisting this knob and it is bringing up my wick. You will want that wick um, to be very saturated. Now this is a good example because the wick, it does burn out and you will need to replace it. In order to replace your wick, you have to pull this lever as I just did, pull it up. You'll pull this up and you'll pull your lamp out. And turn it to the side so you guys can take a look at it. You'll take out your globe. Move this backwards and remove this you remove that and this is what is holding your wick so how I'm going to replace it I'm not gonna like totally replace it, but you can take it out. And how you put it in is pushing it in there, making sure it snaps. Oh yeah, okay. Let's just make sure it's pushed in there really tight and it will grab it. You, will, you should have a longer wick than this. I've been burning this one um, a lot, so it got shorter, but that is how you replace the wick. You'll take it out, get a new wick, put it in there like I just did, and turn this in order to put it back. So right now, you just have a bare lamp with oil in it. I like to add um, eucalyptus oil in mine so it can smell good but I'll put this cap back on and bring you guys a little closer there's a cap and if you turn it it's locked it will, yeah, it's locked into place if it's locked in on both sides. So that side wasn't locked in. It's pretty easy, um, self-explanatory. But yeah, I would like to give full details on how to use it. So now that our wick and our holder is back into place, 
we will place the glue. Then we lift this back up. So you'll pull this up the chimney at the same time as pushing this glow back. And then you'll lift this up and put it back down. Everything we did was basically put the oil in. We learned how to replace the wick. We learned how to expose the wick. We took all the parts um, apart and put them back together. And now it's time to light our oil lamp. So we'll expose the wick again. You want your wick to be very low when you light it because it will give off a big flame. So you get your lighter. In this case, I have matches. It's always good to have uh, matches at home just in case the electric uh, electricity goes out um, it's just really important to have matches especially when things hit the fan put that on there you see how big that is that will cloud your globe if your wick is that high it will cloud your globe my bad um, then you just turn it down to where, how you want to turn it down, turn it up. And I'm actually going to turn off the light so you guys can see the illumination. 